This time I want to add another movie file in. Add, or excuse me, I want to add a movie file in top, right? A totally different family. And I'm actually going to dig up a uh, little starfish, Tiff. This is fun. So what we're going to do this time, uh, here, pro tip, you can actually right click on an output for an operator. It will bring up the contextual uh, set of operators that are relevant to that particular family. But if we go to another family, we'll be able to see the operators that we can connect to. So I can actually apply uh, this top to a trace SOP. So what's happened here? Well, in this case, what I've done is I've uh, just converted this image, right? I've taken this thing, this pixels, and I've turned these pixels into some actual geometry. I've actually made a little piece of, uh, made a, some surfaces out of that, which is pretty slick. Let's go ahead and attach that to a null, because of course, you guessed it, I want to be able to see what we're doing over here on the right hand side. And I'm going to make that, I'm going to turn on this display flag, I'm going to use the H key to home, back out here a little bit. Okay. Now that's pretty interesting, but uh, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have a whole lot of depth to it. It's pretty flat so far. So let's come back and here in line, let's insert and extrude. So I want to add some dimension to this thing. Now that is maybe a little bit more <laughs> dimension than I need. So I'm going to change the step scale to be say not 0.15. All right, so now I've given this thing a little bit of dimension, right? I've kind of given, given it some height. So there's all other sorts of, you know, uh, bits and bobs that we could turn on and off for this. There's tons of things that we can kind of experiment with. And we're going to avoid digging in too deep here for, the, uh, for a moment. We're going to kind of limit the scope of what we're playing with. Um, and this is great, right? I like this a lot, but... I would also like to have a sense of what's going on here on the sides, and you guessed it. We can attribute, create, turn on our normals. Oh, now we've got some kind of like beautiful ridges that show up here on this particular uh, piece of geometry. That you know, that's fun. That's I like that a lot. And again, so part of what we're after here is just kind of understanding how we navigate, working with SOPs and surface operators. Right, and getting a sense of what it is that they do. And that's that's really the meat and potatoes of what we're after here today. Remember, the W key is going to bring up our wireframe, so we can actually get a sense of what's going on here. That's interesting. We could hit the P key to bring up some display options. We might turn on some points here. And this is also interesting, right? So this shows us all the points that we've ended up with. So you might think back to that copy SOP, right? Like. I bet we could do something real interesting here if we uh, left this up. Let's maybe like insert a copy. Now, I don't actually want this to be here in the top input. I might want to plug this into the bottom input. I should not have done that. Uh, ooh, we're going to slow down here for one second. We've got a ton of geometry that we've got to draw. Oh, there we go. Gosh, that's real ugly at the moment. Let's uh, go ahead. And let's hit the power button. Hopefully we caught that in time. And this is a great lesson. This is a lesson I learn all the time. You know, here in touch, you're allowed to do all sorts of things, even things that maybe you shouldn't do. Um, and touch isn't going to stop you from doing that. And it's going to go right ahead and say, give you permission to make all sorts of poor choices. And that's great. That's actually a really important lesson to learn. So uh, this little power button, what that does is it stops all the computation in our network. Uh, and this can kind of save us sometimes uh, from the headaches and foibles that we might kind of run into. So I'm going to wait for that wire to turn yellow. I'm going to right click. I've got to be real patient because there's lots going on. I'm going to disconnect uh, this operator here from the top. Whew, and I've saved myself. Now there were so many little kind of points in there, right? And what I was doing, remember what we saw with the circle, is I was drawing one of these a whole kind of extruded starfishes at every single one of those points which made for a big old mess so i'm going to scoot this down a little bit here i'm going to make a little extra space i'm going to move this copy over here 
And let's instead, let's actually grab our circle. Stop. Now, I don't want it to be a polygon. I'm actually going to make it a primitive. And I'm going to make this thing minuscule, right? I'm going to crank it way down to maybe not point not one. I'm going to make it real tiny. 0 0.01. There we go. And let's, we can power back on here. All right, we can see this is just a little tiny dot now. All right. So let's plug that right here into our top input. Ooh. All right. That's interesting. Let's go back to our circle. Let's put it on the ZX plane. Oh, yeah, it's got, you know, kind of funky kind of uh, orientations here. Let's turn off our rotate to normal. All right. Let's maybe, uh, oh, almost. Maybe we were right in the first time. There we go. All right. That's almost what I'm after. Let's turn down the radius on this even more. Let's kind of keep shrinking it. And let's turn off our points. We don't need to see these. Okay. Now we've got this kind of fun, kind of pointillism kind of look here for what's going on with our starfish. That's really, that's kind of goofy and silly. I like that a lot so far. We might come back to our extrude, and we could even play with how close or far away that is. Now, you know, one of the things to kind of keep in mind here, we've got this wonderful little indicator for what our performance is. And as I run that parameter, we can actually see the performance impact that has. Right, and that there's a number of things kind of contributing to that. Uh, this viewport over here is driven as uh, computed on the CPU, so this is actually um, costing us something. All of these little windows that look into our operators cost us a little something. Um, but it also helps kind of demonstrate for us how much working with SOPs actually can be computationally expensive. So that's fun. I'm going to go ahead and leave that be for the time being. Uh, and I have one other uh, kind of chain of operators that I want us to take a look at. Let's go ahead and turn that one off. And let's start one more down here.